Well, you guys, um, I just want to show you that making a statement about rain and cold as a basis to start the calendar uh, is not a good platform to have because this is April 2nd, still their week of unleavened. And it is cold and rainy today. So, um, yeah, I think by the very own standards that uh, Yoah HaLevi from Hebrew and Israel, uh, Divorce Date Tree, and Abib of God, by their standards, they've started the month too early because we had a lot of rain just before the time that the uh, pilgrimage to Israel would have started if we were in the first month of the year. I'm sorry. Yeah, if we were in the first month of the year, their first month of the year. And if there was a temple and the people had to, to travel to Jerusalem. We had a lot of rain just those four days preceding during a time when people would be walking from all regions uh, to Jerusalem. Again, if there was a temple. And then now today on April 2nd, we have quite a bit of rain happening, and it again, it's very cold, very, very, um, I'm going to go on and put my, sh my long pants on and put a long shirt on because I'm in shorts and, and just a, a jacket over my short sleeve blouse, uh, and I just need to put more clothes on, and that's the condition, and uh, if people are willing to use weather to determine someone else, else's calendar then surely they should use the same weather to determine their calendar and so that is the point of uh, this additional video on rain it's just that I don't believe that we need to use rain as a factor for the year why because Israel is less than a perfect nation living a pleasing life before Elohim and the fact they're getting rain during uh, the first and second month of the year, they would call a blessing. But if you're looking for perfect weather for a pilgrimage, I'm so sorry. This month, this lunar month has not had that perfect weather. And we've had now five good days of substantial rain altogether since the beginning of the last lunar month. Since that new moon of this month, we have had five good days, four just during a time of a foot pilgrimage from the areas of Israel up to Jerusalem, if people did that. And now today as well is another day of cold, wet rain. So I think maybe we, we just need to recognize that the nation of Israel is not going to have perfect weather until the people, again, please Elohim, and that the other groups need to let go of their errant belief that weather determines the month or the month of the Abib in addition to what they think is um, acceptable barley. Because as you can see, it's not a pretend rain. It's a real rain. And, you know, there's no saying, oh, well, it's raining in the north, but it's not raining in the south. Well, guess what? It does that all the time. All the time. And anybody, anybody who couldn't make it to Jerusalem because of muddy roads, anybody, they would have postponed it. Those first fruits offerings and those, those uh, firstborn lambs and all of those firsts of the year, were very important to the function of the temple. Okay, so we cannot use this any longer to determine a beginning of the year because it doesn't work in our time. Elohim does not give perfect weather to a nation in gross darkness. Well, this video is for those of you who, who are awake or want to be awake, those who are searching and have questions. This is not a video for the purpose of correcting the people that are on a different calendar. Um, that has to be the work of the Holy Spirit because 
they have already determined and learned everything there is to learn about the calendar according to their understanding. So um, that's the work of the Holy Spirit. Only he can wake them up. And we pray that he does. We really pray that he does. But I'm here to speak with you who are seeking understanding, again, about the subject of rain. Um, those of us who were on the earlier calendar, uh, you may remember that um, the, the accusation against the determining of our early start was the weather how it was still winter as modern Israelis have come to understand winter, which again, I've done videos on what Horef, Horef, with a ch in your throat, Horef, means um, from a biblical perspective. And we will not find in the Tanakh anything that points to the fact that when the rains stop, that their understanding of summer has begun. Okay, we've all, I've also done the video concerning the word summer in the Bible, kites. Um, you can easily find those videos. Horef, I spelled, uh, transliterated it, C-H-O-R-E-F. And summer, I transliterated K-Y-T-Z, kites. You can find those videos easily on the channel if you want to understand from the etymology according to the Tanakh how to apply these two terms uh, and then I go into history historically what they did with these terms then you want to watch those two videos now as addressing the rain again what we were told against as a testimony against our early start to the year was that it can't possibly be the time of summer, meaning pleasant dry weather um, in Israel because it has been raining and it has been cold. Um, other groups have said such thing as the Elohim is not pleased with them. It's raining on their, on their hog. Um, other things as, this is not the weather that Elohim would give to his people. Okay, so I touched a little bit on that uh, in the last video where I presented the last session of rain in this second month that we've had that actually coincide with their pilgrimage. Um, and today would be the sixth, I believe the sixth day of their unleavened bread. Pretty sure that's right. And so with all of these rains, probably they would begin to be looking at moving out pretty quickly after the, the last day of an 11. And so we've got a full day of rain and we're gonna look at the map so you can see the rain and we'll look at the temperature. So you can see, as I have told you so many times, of course, cold is relative to the seasons you're acclimated to. So those of us who are totally acclimated to living in the middle of Middle East, this is cold. Okay, so we're going to look at the map and we're going to look at the cold. But here's what I want to give to you people who think. For you thinking people, for you people searching for the truth, if the early calendar was disallowed because of rain at the beginning of that lunar cycle, then the later calendar, by the same standard, must be delayed till next month, and they are celebrating too early. So um, that's for you thinking people. Unless one type of rain on the land can be holy and the other can be unholy, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I really don't know for this theology that they have or, or, or this guideline that they've determined. I really don't know where that comes into play in the scriptures. I can find it in uh, some of the Talmudic uh, commentaries. They're very clear about what they did. And yet um, these other groups won't 
or don't say that that's where they get the idea or the concept from. But uh, I certainly can find it there in these Talmudic commentaries that they delayed the, the, the hog based on muddy roads and that, uh, by the way, they didn't delay the hog if there was snow and cold, just if the roads were muddy. So with that said, let's take a look at what the weather's doing. Okay, so I am going to share a screen with you to show you what the weather is doing in Israel. Okay, I don't know if you can see right here, it gives you the date. So this is today, this is April 2nd. And um, we woke up to our first shower. And as you can see, this is April the 3rd, which is tomorrow, Saturday, and the storm moves in heavier. And then over here on the next row on the left hand side, we can see it's intensifying. Okay, so that today, I'm sorry, this is Thursday, this is Friday, so that today here, we have quite a little storm coming and it's coming all the way past the Dead Sea right here. Now that's important because Jerusalem is to the left of the Dead Sea. So Jerusalem's gonna take a good rain today. And then this is, again, this is still April 2nd, April 3rd. Okay, it looks like we'll have some light rain on April 3rd here in the north above uh, the Canaret, maybe an hour area. And then it's going to go a little further south. We're going to have some rain over here in the Dead Sea, some rain here in the central area. This is the last day of their unleavened. Um, it's still April 3rd, Saturday, and then Sunday. Sunday, they're not going to have rain. But my, my understanding of pilgrim roads, which were dirt, they weren't graveled. There was no um, kind of paving that um, were laid on these ancient roads to connect the areas around Jerusalem to the temple. Uh, they would have all been dirt. And there is going to be sufficient rain that the pilgrims are going to have muddy feet on their way home uh, from this, this hog of, of this month. Stop sharing that. Okay, now we're going to go to the main page of that uh, ims.gov.il website, Israeli Meteorological Service, and we're going to look at what it's doing in Jerusalem. We are told that it's only nine degrees Celsius in Jerusalem today and that it's only going to get to a, 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 a temperature of 11 degrees Celsius. And we've got rain throughout this day. Over here on the right-hand side, it says for, forecast, country forecast for Friday, um, the 2nd of April. Today in Northern and Central Israel, isolated rainfall is expected. Mainly in northern Israel, isolated thunderstorms are expected. The winds will pick up. It will snow on Mount Hermon. So we're going to have another session of snow. And if you remember, especially from the Devorah's Date Tree newsletter, uh, that's what she just, she said, oh my gosh, it's snowing. Does this look like, you know, the, the month of the Abib to you? Unseasonably cool. From midday, the rain will weaken tonight partly cloudy in the north in central israel isolated light rainfall will continue okay so this is what they're forecasting to this point for us okay so it's it's time that we understand and we we really looked at the scriptures and took them for face value uh, there is one of the calendar groups out there that would point at me and say, oh, well, the nation's getting rain, so then Elohim's not pleased with you. And they probably did that last month. I didn't bother to look and nobody brought it to me. So praise Jehovah, I didn't have to read that drool. Um, but that's not scriptural. What is scriptural is he judges a nation as righteous or unrighteous 
or he judges a ruler as unrighteous or righteous. I am neither of those. What we are dealing with is the unrighteousness of a nation, meaning the current people who inhabit the land of Israel. I said this before in the other video on rain, and I want to say it really, really, really clearly that if we want to see perfect weather for a fictitious pilgrimage that doesn't take place in our time, not that they didn't take place, but in our time, they do not take place because there is no temple. But if we want to see that as an indicator of the seasons, then we must wait until this nation, these people on this land are righteous before Elohim. That is the only way that he is going to display perfect weather is because of the righteousness of the people. So anybody out there in the other calendars who point to this time of rain and say, oh, it's because someone determined the calendar incorrectly, they're incorrect because there's no scriptural platform for that. There's no scriptural platform for there cannot be any rain during the first two months in the land of Israel, or it is not the month of the Abib, or it is not the head of the new year. There's no scriptural platform for that. We went over that before. The word that is used in Song of Solomon is not horif, which means stripping and denuding. When, when you think of, of winter, you see the land is barren, okay? It's not that term and that application. Though Hebrew word that is used in Song of Solomon means hidden. And it's in the next verse, it talks about flowers. And the flowers are hidden during the time of the dry season. They're below the earth and they're waiting for the rains to return. And that's what that verse means, that winter is past. The hidden, hidden time of the flowers has passed. Guess what? Those flowers come out of hiding when the rains return. So we have to understand scriptures in light of the pattern on the land. Right now, as the weather wanes and we're getting less rains, you know what's happening? Those flowers are going back into hiding because they're dying from lack of rain. It's just the facts of the land and the way it was created, or the, let me say, the way it is functioning today. So for you thinkers who are looking for not only the truth of the word of God, but how that applies to the land on a yearly current situation, current scenario basis, it is time to quit looking at the rains to determine the beginning of the year because Elohim does not have to, according to his word, give them perfect weather at the beginning, the first month of the year, because this nation is not righteous. I said it before, we have abortions. We have gay pride. We have people involved, many people involved in new age practices. We have Let's just we have Kabbalah. That's a that's a form of, of mysticism within Judaism. There is too much gross darkness on the land for Elohim to give us the kind of weather that he would want us to have if we were making a pilgrimage. Do you understand what would happen if he did that? The people would say, Oh, we're blessed of God, we're living right, we have good rain, we don't have to change anything. Quite the contrary. He's saying you need to change. And I'll tell you, they're missing the point, but he's still saying it. And the fact that they're missing the point is neither here nor there because he's still speaking the way he has always spoken. Having rain during our first and second month this year 
is exactly as it should be against a people in gross darkness. So for you who are seeking the truth, you go look at in the scriptures how Elohim judges by holding and releasing rains in the appropriate seasons. Go to Samuel, I think it was, when it rained during the wheat harvest and how the people responded to that. They understood that they were out of favor with Elohim. So when we consider that contextual reference, then these people, because the barley has been a bee, that first flush, these people have forgotten how to hear God's voice, but they should be recognizing the fact that they're out of favor with him. And anybody who uses the reins to judge the beginning of the year and the favor of Elohim against a calendar is making as grave an error as the people of Israel are.